Oh, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on Drift Truck V2. As you might have just seen, today we're gonna to be working on the steering, mostly. But in order to do the steering, we have to put the dash in, we have to put the seats in, so we're really getting the interior all set up. Why are we doing this now? I don't know, but steering is the next big step. The exhaust has to go around it, the brakes have to go around it, the dash has to go around it, and so that's why we're doing it next. Fortunately, the B2200 steering shaft ain't gonna work anymore. It's too long, it's going to the wrong spot for the firewall. Our S13 steering rack is very close to the firewall, it's very low, and so we're gonna have to make an entirely new custom steering shaft. This is a gingium first, Haha! -ha. I like doing new things, so I'm excited about this. Here we have a Speedway steering column, splined on one end for a quick release, and then on the other end it is a steering shaft. So we got various pieces of metal, we got various U-joints, Heim joints, mounts, we got a blinker system so we don't have to do switches like we did in the Rally Miata, and then we have the factory dash and stuff, the dash and stuff. We actually have to put the dash in first and do the seats first because we want to build the steering shaft to a good sitting position. And how are we gonna know what a good sitting position is without a dash and seats? Speaking about seats, seats. These are new racing seats from Corbo. Pretty much the most aggressive racing seat that they offer compared to the last seats we had in the drift truck. Better side bolstering. Fifth point harness hole. They're skinnier so they can fit around the cage better. And one of the cool parts, they got side mounts. So we can mount them a little bit lower, a little bit more like a race truck. Huge thank you to Corbo for sending these out. Very excited for this. But there's really not much else to say. We're just gonna wing this. Classic gingium move, start welding things together and see what happens. But first, we have to cut this up. We're gonna strip out all of the factory stuff from behind it. We're gonna have to cut some holes in it to fit it around the cage. Got a new clip for my uh, impact finally. Custom. Here we go, look. <laughs> So I took everything out of the back. I am gonna be keeping the defrost, because pretty much what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a aftermarket separate heater core and pretty much deleting all of the HVAC controls on the front here and replacing it with a cool radio, bunch of switches. The, the goal for the interior and the truck in general is to be like race car, but with all the streetability stuff. So it's cool like a race car, but it doesn't suck to drive on the street. The best of both worlds. Anyway, let's try to fit this now.
the dash is in there. It's fitting great now, but obviously that's not going to be very good while drifting. So we're going to go ahead and have to make some new mounts for it. Obviously, we had to cut the old ones off to clear the dash bar here. Ha! <laughs> that's a good feeling. Already, look at that. Maybe one or two more. So I got the, the dash better mounted, as you can tell. Nice and, you know, probably OEM sturdiness. There's one mount, this one right here, that's kind of long. I'm gonna go ahead and brace that one later down the road once we take the dash back out. I think it's time to mount the seats because that's the next step before we can start building the steering column. It feels very tight. Um, needs to be leaned back a little bit. See, you know what stinks? This is goddamn sideways bar that is getting in the way of the seat. Who knew that was gonna happen? Yeah, I mean, that'll be, that'll be good. Good enough, which might be a little challenge fitting the pedals. What? Steering is, you know, neutral. Starting to look like an interior again. This is about where we're gonna mount the seats. Fortunately, it's as good as it's gonna get because it's a dang bar up there. It is, it's decent. It's definitely farther forward than I was hoping for. And I definitely regret putting that bar up there because it's not gonna make a tech difference, but that is what we got to work with, so here we are. Should be pretty good. Shifter's right there, shifter's in a good spot. They can make a cool little extendo or something. Now we gotta mount these things.
So we got our two main seat bars going from the front to the rear, done for the driver's side. Kind of felt weird building these because I didn't have to use the plasma cutter. It was all just angle grinding, cutting, drilling, which actually I hate because there's, it's just impossible to get it perfectly perfect. And that bugs me. Like that hole is not centered around the bevel and the bevel is not perfectly circular and it's a little crooked and But hey, it's still better than what I've done in the past. So that is what it is. We're gonna put these in. Weld a crossbar, and then it's it's time to plasma cut some stuff. So here is the side mounts. We've got three different levels on the front and back. So you can raise it, lower it, tilt it forward, tilt it backwards, and slide it forward and slide it backwards. So plenty of adjustment. And then the bottom gets welded to the other piece we built. Hopefully, so the, if everything goes well. Uh -huh. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's all we push forward to. And boom, I've got perfect area to weld it to. Dang, that turned out like, that turned out flawless. The fact that I, I built that is pretty sick. And on the other side, it's also gonna say EM, but I actually remember to mirror it this time so that when it's printed out, it's not backwards. Heck yeah. Gotcha. Even before it's welded in, it's <laughs> already solidly mounted because of um, just because. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. Do I look short? I wouldn't want to be any taller, just put it that way. I mean, I can see the supercharger for where I'm sitting. So uh, the goal is to do this without uh, catching the seat on fire or melting holes into it. Now we take it out as one piece, weld the other side, take the seat off, fully weld it up, good to go. Lightweight.
So we uh, finally have both of our seats in here. Seating position is pretty good, you know, definitely the cage has interrupted some of what I wanted, but it is what it is. Now we can finally get started on the actual steering shaft, but that is going to be in the next video. I'm sorry, I hate to do this to you guys, but I've got so much more content on the steering shaft, it was just impossible to fit it all into this one video. It would have been like an hour long, which I'm sure some of you would have liked that but not me. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited about how this truck is turning out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to support the channel, you can check out Patreon or check out the merchandise and have a great day. Bye-bye.